Hey everybody, let me start our first application in Android. So to get started, I have here Android Studio. Open it, I click start a new Android project. Here I give a name for my project. So what I want to do in this tutorial, I want to do simple calculator. So I would I will name it calculator demo. This is the name of my project. This is the dom domain name. You have to have a unique name for your domain. You could give it any domain name, for example, com I could give it domain hussein.com this is my domain if you see here is changing this is the real thing this is the my application ID in the store what I mean by my application ID in the store if I, you go to the store I mean Google Play Store here and you search for find my phone or find my phone my iPhone whatever if you click to on any app you will see this app have specific ID here if you go and see another app you will see that app have different ID so you can there you cannot have ID same as another app ID. So you cannot have this ID in your project. If you have it same, you cannot upload your project to the Google Play. So make sure you have unique ID. If you see here, this is the ID. If you want to change it, also you could edit it here. So for example, you could change it to com.hussein.calculator. To make sure I, there is no ID like this one, just very basic. Just go back to the and replace this one with this ID and make sure there is no other ID. So if you say not found, that's mean no other people using your ID, which is great. This is for upload time, not now. So here, do you want to use C++? No, I'm not using C++. Here, you define the place that where you want to save your project. By default, you save it in the Android Studio project. You could select any place to save your project. I will click next. If you see the screen, the screen you, de you define which type of application you want to develop. Here I want to develop phone and tablet and all these tutorial we will talk about phone and tablet. You, you could develop application also on Android using Wear, devi Wear devices or TV, all these using the same way. But for all tutorial we will focus on, on phone and tablet. If you see here, what's the minimum SDK? That means what minimum SDK you want your application to support. If you see, or you know, Android to Android have API from one, and now they are in 25, which is Android O. So, uh, if you say I will support 19, that means any version before 19, this application will not work on. So make sure from this one. If you want to support 23, any version before 23 will not work, but 23 and after will work. So I I prefer to use 15 because it's mostly like you cover most devices. Don't do last version. If you do last version, so you will cover only the, the devices who have an Android O, which is only around 1% from the market. But if you do like this thing, for example, if you see, if I change it to 19, he say, hey, you will cover 73 from the market if I increase it to 12 we say hey 97 of the market if it's 12 I would say 12 is bit I don't prefer to go to 9 because there is some features do, does not work on 5 on 9 so it's better to do it 20 12 and after and because you want to use ads next so I see how many devices I could cover if I do it 12 so now this application will support device target API 12 and after click next I click empty activity I will not change anything by default keep it on empty activity if you see he will do for us main activity and just focus on this name click finish we will wait for some time until he will create complete a project for us or very very simple Android project doesn't have any any complex thing so let me wait and see what is going on here we go after a while the screen is up, up Updated and you will see this one just close it and you see you have number of folders To get started. I would prefer first to click run and show you what is data flow and what has happened So just click run and see the Android device so You let me see what is going on so you could track everything step by step Here we go after a while you will see the screen you have in the title calculate demo because we named our project calculate demo and you see here hello world so that's great, that's great, that's our first application is run, but how this application run and how this screen show up? So I will, I will tell you step by step. If you go to folder name it app and you open it, you will go to SRC, this folder. Then you go to main. 
If you see here in main, I have three different folder. One of them Java, one of them resource, one of them main Android main face. Double click on Android main face. This is the first file that fire when any Android application run. When you, when you click it run, first thing run is this file. So he go and scan this file and he will look for any activity. So he have this activity. If you see tag name it activity, we'll go on details about XML in next videos. But just think about it in this way. He will go to this activity and he will look for any activity that have this filter. If you see filter main and launcher, that means this activity should should fire off first one. So uh, from this activity, you see this name, he say, hey, this is Java file name. If I click control, I if I want to go to this one, so just go to Java and you'll see same name. Did you see main activity? This is main activity. So the first Java file will fire this, which should be this file. When he go, come to this file, see, see he just extend app compact activity. Don't care about app compact activity, something from Android that allow normal class to support UI. I know in Java you never seen app compact activity. This is something from Android that allow your device to allow, allow, the, allow this class to, to support UI access. If you see the first first class that run in this type of classes, name it onCreate. onCreate, when it's run, first thing you just call super class that you don't care about it. So if the second thing is set a view, so he want to display a view for us. From where he will display this view? He will display it from R, that's mean resource, I have this resource, R, dot layout, that's mean he go to folder named layout inside it, then dot activity main. If you go inside it, this is activity main. He will display this layout for us. I know you don't understand what this mean. Go to design, you will see it, you will see this layout. If you try, try to zoom in, See, this is the one. Is this the real one? This is the same one that we have it here? Yes, exactly. This is the same one. If I just click on this one, this is just normal tool that someone dragged from this toolbox. If you see here, we have toolbox. If I just slow it down. So every tool, when you select it, it have a number of properties. If you see, this is text. That means the text that should appear on this tool. If you see it here, if you could change it also. So you could, you could, you could do a lot. Let me just wait here. I, if I select this one and I click on this text I could change it so I would name it welcome user so if I see the data will be here welcome user now when I click run I have to see welcome user on that screen not hello world because I changed the text so you know the process first of all he go to main face main face go to the class and the class fire up the activity so here you go I have welcome user so now what you understand? You understand every Java file have layout that appear to the user. So something you want to do in background in Java file, something appear to user, this XML. If you see the extensions .xml, as I told you don't care about XML, we will go on details about this or this thing. Now, what I want to do, I want to do simple, very, very simple calculator. So let me just take off this one, just by click on it and delete it. So uh, now I want to do simple calculator. If you see, I have different tools here. What I have, plan text, email, password. This is input box. Let me just take this one, text field. If you see, just I added, dragged it, drop it. Then I just add hint. Hint means hint for the user. I ask him enter user, uh, enter number one. Okay? Because I'm, I want number one to be entered here. Then I will add another one, another plan text here. If you see, it's, it's up on that one. Also, I add hint, I will say enter number two. That's mean hint to the user. But if you see, already there's a text here. Try to delete it. The text, that means there's something contained contain inside it. And this one have a text. I will remove this one also. So yes, I just remove both of them and I have to input field. I want to display the results. So if you see, this is just input field, something I want users enter inside the data. So I want to display a result. I have to have this one, text field, text view. Text view use it to display a result. So I add this one here. So I want to do process. I, ha I need to have a button. So now go and look for button. This is the button. Here is it. 
and see it here is the double button if you click see this is the properties i i will say sum if you see the change the title of sum so every item here in the layout when you click on it you see he have different properties you could manage this item from properties if you see the text hint so see this one the text is uh, you say name it the results whatever the data inside it but now you say you, you think you define this layout you want when you run it you will see it in the same thing that you expect it may appear and may not because we did not add any constraint to manage this layout let me wait and see Here we go. The layout does not, does not appear in the same way that we want. See the, the input, the button, they did not appear in the same way here. So what we want to do, we want to have a constraint. So I have to add constraint from this way and this side. That's mean, hey, always this button add constraint from this side and add constraint from this side. That's mean this button always added in the middle. If you want to remove any constraint, just click here and delete it if you don't want it. If you want to add it, just click here and add it. So I want to add also a constraint app. Constraint mean you, you want to f pin something. So I want to pin this one in this place all the time. So I pin it from this side, this side, this side, which is a great. Also, I want to do this one, same thing. I want to pin it to the app one. I want to pin it to this one, this side, and I want to pin it that side. Hopefully now I have it everything. Hey, he already pin it, pin it for us from this side. I just pin it again, just remove it and pin it again. Okay, now I have this pinned from, this pinned from this side, this side, this side, and this one pinned. This one, what do you think? From where I have to pin it? For sure, I have to pin it from this side. And it is pretty fair to pin it also from app, so he always keep it in this place. So he always keep it. Hopefully, I just pin it correctly. Okay, sorry. I just, there's some pinning, wrong pinning. He always, he also add pinning for us, so it's better to up. I will remove all the pin. See, I have here some pinning problem. So remove all the pin, pinning, take it up for you. And he already add pinning for us. So to avoid this thing, just stop pinning and remove any pin to make it easy for you. And add it connected to this one. Up, wait, remove, wait. Pin it this one, pin this one to this one, and also this one to this one. I try to keep it in this place all the time. Also, I want to pin this button this place. You could pin it from this side and pin it from this side, hopefully. See, the pinning is really easy, and you pin it from this one, hopefully. You have to pin it to the point. So here you go. Now if I just rerun it again, I have to see everything, pin it on its place. Here we go, see I have everything pinned. Even if I change the screen mode, still everything pinned without any problem. So button one, button two, button input. So yes, that's great. So now I want to see the hint that I add hint. So enter number one, enter number two, result you'll see it here. So now yes, I have a layout. Now I went I went I want to do interaction any between the layout and the Java code. I need someone enter data here, enter data here, click some, see result. First of all, how I could access to this one to read the data from it? have to have a unique ID if you go here you have to see here is have ID so let me name it edit text hopefully again let me name it edit text number one okay and uh, yes change the name I will change this one also to this one was edit text number one sorry this one should be edit text number two just give it id so you could access to it yes 
and go here name it this one text view result you could name it a result in this way so you want to show the result inside it this one the button you could name it bu sum now i have everything have specific id this one have id et number one this one have id et number two this one have id text view result this one have id beat and sum now i want to when someone click on this button i do the process so first of all i have to have uh, event click button so it's better to go here and do button let me name it bu click this menu define event i define event name it bu click click enter now if i just go to text i will see everything don't care about what happened here if you just click preview you will go on details what this mean in the next video but if you select the button you'll see button highlighted here one of them you see this red line that's mean hey you said i have event name it button but you did not implement this this event yet just click on the error and click create button main if you see he went to this class and he create button event for us this is button so this one will fire when button is clicked why because we connected the button so because with this one is connected with the button so when you click any one of the button he will understand this xml is connected with this main activity and main activity this one so he will send it to this name bio click to execute it so let me go step by step first of all i want to read the data from this one and this one we say this one num name it et number one and this one et number two so how to access to it if you see this one when you click on it you'll see have a name edit text is that right edit text copy the name only just go here define edit text name it number one if you see it doesn't work this is one important part in java you cannot say edit text in this way if it's capital you have to write it capital so you have to start edit text if you see let me name it edit text number one if you see here when i define it he just already import something name it edit text this is he will use it also you define edit text second one edit text number two now i define it here i need to initialize that i need to connect this variable with this edit text this is important part in android so this name it edit text name it edit text number one so i connect it okay i will say i have edit text oh cool i want to from this java file access to this ui what how i do i will do find a view by id look for resource dot id the one that named edit text number one what we mean by this one and this one you'll see it a lot that's mean hey um, have, i have the java file go and look to in my layout for something name it r dot id dot et number one he will go and look here for et number one he will see this one et number one he will take it take all this object with the properties and method and he will assign it to this variable because this one is ui and this one is edit text so you need to do casting so just open here and do edit text and you, you're done do same process for the second one just copy paste it you done edit text two and this one two okay now what about the third one if you go here you have this one but this one if you see if you look through it this is not edit text this is name text view text view result is that right okay you have to define for here not edit text you have to define text view and make sure you start with capital okay because it's capital so name it text view text view result same thing text view result a oh, cool you say find the view by id look in my resource dot id the one name it text the, the name name it text view result you will look for it and bring it because this one ui this one text view you have to change the same type so you have to change it to text view that's great now these three of them are connected okay I could do now when application loaded this this variable already will be connected because they are public so now I could access to them from here so I could read the, the, the data inside first one so I say okay integer number one oh cool I want to read anyone what whatever the data that entered in this one the, this one if you go here it have a number of properties one of them is the text that's mean the text inside it so whatever you write here should appear there okay 
so this is the text so I want to read this value so for sure object name dot properties name so what is the object name now is it number one so edit number one dot properties name it get text that means bring the text from the number one dot to string is better to change it to string but if you see this is string and this is integer I want to change it to integer on Java to change integer string to integer you say hey integer dot vars parse any string so you just take all this value and you will add it here same process you do it for the second one you define variable to and you say hey bring the data from variable to now I want to do the result so integer sum equal number one plus number two I want to display the result here so if you see I have text result dot set because I want to set set text get that mean you bring set you want that you want to put when you wanted to get data from this one we said get text we said this one get because you are getting when we want to put data here we say put text so you say put text you say sum but you cannot say sum why because sums integer and this one set text string so I need to change integer to string you could do it this way string in java dot value of this is just we do it because this is string and that one is integer so you should done now if I run and see what's going on hopefully everything will work according what I did expect very simple and very very straightforward and we'll go more in properties and method in next video if you had any problem and misunderstanding what's going on Here we go, if I just enter here 4, you could use keyboard here, 43, this one I would enter this two number, if I click sum, he will do 89, okay, if I just take off, I say 4 plus 5 should say 9, is that right? The sum is 9, that's a great, yes, we did our first pro application, how this application work? When anyone click on sum, sum is some button here, it is this button this button if you go here to call button name it event name it view click so which call this one this one will read the data from text one that's mean the data that's here and the data from here how he read them first of all he need to connect with them so you think find the view by id find the view by id then he want to display the data here also he do find the view by id then say it. if you see when I, whenever i want to read data from any object here just give object name then the properties name when i said that object name dot proxy name here we then and thank you for watching